my testimony today we're doing Zoo Scientists to the Rescue. To the rescue. And this is thanks to Millbrooks Press, Millbook Press, which is also a division of Learner Books. So this one is very, very in-depth. It took us a little while to get through it all. Uh, definitely not something the kids are going to be reading on their own unless they're towards, to read. yeah, towards, you know, this is more of a middle grade book versus a elementary book. I could see that or somewhere in between the two for a transition book. Uh, so if the kids want to read this one by themselves, they definitely have to be a very strong reader to do so. So let's see a page. And how many stars did you say you gave this one? 55. 55. So here's the page. As you can see, there is a lot of words. This is an actual, you know, normal story type thing about the different animals at the zoo and what the zookeepers do. Um, so this uh, states in 2014, Meredith moved from the Philadelphia uh, Zoo to the National Zoo. Just as she did in Philadelphia, Meredith works behind the scenes to educate staff to the zoo can educate its visitors. Um, so basically the book goes along with this with different sections and it was very good. Uh, definitely, definitely something to get kids more interested in dealing with um, things that happen in the zoo and stuff like that. And um, we had a lot of really, really nice pictures in it. Um, let me show you guys an extra photo or an extra page here. Maybe not the one with all the feces on it. <laughs> Might want to skip that one. Can I look? Yeah, you can look at the poop again later. So here's this one here. It has like the different types of rhinos on it. Looky, so there's the different types of rhinos again. It's really interesting. I'm going to go back and look at the poop. <laughs> it says, poop saves species. One more. See, feces save species. Um, I think the poop's on the next page. Where's the poop? Um, kids look at the weirdest things. There is poop! <laughs> we went to Disney um, a couple years back and uh, went to Animal Kingdom and they have this big, big window that's about the size of this bookshelf here. And it's glass, and you can see the hippos underneath the water. And, of course, we walk up just in time for the hippo to poop, to let one go. And that whole area down in there just just completely breathed. <laughs> it was so bad. It, you, I've never seen so many people completely run, run away from an area so fast. It was so funny. So, did species save species. Yes, away? yes, we did. Yes, we did. We... We ran away very fast because it does it does not smell good down there <laughs> at all. We saw raccoons too. Raccoons? No, there's no raccoons in there. There is. I think it no, goes. I, I think it's a Dutch universal. Oh, okay. If I remember correctly, it goes. Well, it did go because this was about um, I think almost four years ago. Um, the hippos, the tigers. And then you go around the corner, and there's more tigers. We saw bats before. Yeah, there's right? then the bats are in there, and they I think the bats are before the hippos. And then there's the gorillas that stink really bad. They stinky. And I think the gorillas are the last thing in that specific area on that side. Wait, what's that page? Hmm? This is a rhinos a rhinos who who. It's all the different types of rhinos. And whether or not if they're what a if dance. they're um, endangered, and that is, can you read that? It tells you, Rachel developed a field-friendly test in her zoo lab before taking it on the field. Here she mixes. Look, mom. No, no, it's black. Is it still going? I think. It is. Uh. Pours the mixer through filter paper. The paper creates Mom? or captures the feces and lets the hormones through, which dry as a crusty brown residue. Mom, but what if it actually goes into the so, video? So it's fine. So she's doing tests. So how many stars did you give this one? Fifty-five, I think, is what you said. And it was awesome. Did you have fun? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So you thank you. So thank you so much to Millbrook Press for sending this one.
and we had a lot of fun with it. Definitely something if you want to know about more about zoo scientists and what they do. Yeah. It still hurts. Yeah, it's going to, honey. It's going to hurt for a little bit. It looks a little bit better, though. It's getting smaller. Her lip is really bothering her today. All right, so say thank you so much. and Thank you so much. And thank you for watching this video, and we thank hope you, you subscribe. For and this video, and thank you for <laughs> supplying. And you can follow Awesome Annie and at underscore Awesome Annie on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And we hope to see you and soon. And I'm Awesome Annie. Yep, and she's Awesome Annie. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. You going to say goodbye? Bye.